Welcome back to another video of Supermarket Together, where I cry by myself all alone because I'm playing a solo. Anyway, guys, let us start our day. Let's click on the green buttons of Doom. Um, so at this very moment, we are just going to restock. And uh, that's pretty much where most of our money is going to go to. Um, in the skill tree, this is what we got so far. And we are going to get this one right here next. This will attract more customers per day. So we can get more people in. Um, the faster cashier thing, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think we're going to get this in today's video. But I would like to get all the way up there. Where uh, employees uh, generate 10% money in checkouts. So I would love to get that as well. And I would also love to get another employee that we can use as a security guard. Uh, but for now, it's one, two, three, four, five, six skill points to get that. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, to be quite honest. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, we're running pretty low on money. We have $203, which is also not that much. And we can just order one product at a time. Also, we uh, redid our shop to look like this. And the reason being is because I saw that you can actually pay for something. Um, so if you grab this tablet and look down, um, this security thing, this thing right here, it's only that small and it will detect whether people are stealing from you or not. But it costs $900. So you can't really tell if someone's stealing from you. Um, so we'll just have to sit through it. But yeah, other than that, I think uh, this is the better way to do it for now, at least. We have no idea who Thieves is. Can I hit on my employees, dude? Because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Look at that thin booty. She's like standing in the wall. Love the fact that there's a skill tree in this game. That's pretty cool. Oh, we have another point. We'll spend it right there for more... More employees. Or, or not more employees. More customers. And we'll see if we're running into a problem now, you know, that my cash is not fast enough. Uh, we'll just take that next then. But I think more, more uh, customers equal more sales equal more experience, right? And honestly, that's what I think. So our building is, uh, <laughs> is supplying Wi-Fi now. And we can actually see our products over here on this screen. So I can actually see like how low are we running on certain stuff. Love to hear the monies, dude. Keep generating money for me. Wait, we have 44? Is that two full boxes? Oh my goodness. We overordered that. That's for sure. I 
So we're buying dog food. We have 201 salts. That's, that's crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. You guys better not be stealing from me, okay? I need the money. If you want a very big market here, close to your home, don't steal. Okay. It's in your hands now. But yeah, so far, things are looking good. I mean, this is episode two. Most probably the final episode on Leicester series as well. Because I actually enjoy games like this for some reason. <laughs> for some reason indeed. So we are surviving. With the queue. Even having more clients. And we're chilling on $800 again, bro. So we are definitely making money. That's for sure. Employees move faster. I feel like that's a waste right now. Yeah, we're gonna go straight for this. So, obviously, one, two, three, four, five, six away to get that bad boy. Wow. Five products and then we can get it. And then we'll just go... Well, I don't think we can take this. We'll have to go this one first. And then that. Buying some yogurts. Because it's running pretty low. Not really though, but... Don't want to go lower than that. How low can you go? Can't believe we have the shop somewhat automated already. In bar 2. You know, if I get a restocker, which is one more employee, I don't have to move at all. How's the queues? We have no queue, bro. This game feels a little bit too easy, actually. I, I, I think that's why there's a difficulty setting. What, what happens with the difficulty setting? I think there will be just more people stealing from you. That is just a roughly, I guess. No way of really knowing. And I'm not overpricing anything as well. These dudes are walking so weird. Are they arguing whether they should steal or not? Oh my goodness. Not in public. Now what are you doing? Get the broom, bro. Police! I don't mean to slap the woman, to be honest.
Dude. If you can't fix colliding, then remove it because I'm going to smack bitches soon again. Are you a robber? You got your hoodie on. It might look like she's paying. Products are still looking fine everywhere. And we're making bank. It's kind of insane. She can maybe get cat food here. We're about to reach level seven also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, it's one behind, right? I can see us getting a huge shop, not even... Not even gonna take that long, to be honest. If we get more shelves, we can actually build closed from here, like... You know, just have a entrance uh, that you can regulate, pretty much. My money is lead right now. One double three seven lead. Twenty-four dollars. Oh, we should buy this. The other one has labels, but this one don't. Look at that label there, label there. But well, this one ha doesn't have. Not even at the back. Can't be two different shelves, can it? I mean, it can be. I don't see anything to buy. Did I wonder if they're- oh, we got another skill point. Okay, we can't drop this right now while it's it's half past ten. So this day is almost over, the last few clients. Easy. 
easy, bro. This game is too easy. Maybe it's because we're playing on difficulty one or zero. I don't even know. No one even stole from us, bro. Goodness. Okay, let's get the new product. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Shelf, 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 shelf. Everything shelf. It's kind of a uh, shelf explanatory. <laughs> That's why we're a small channel, dude. My bad. My bad. Definitely we will need one more. I wonder if I put the box down. That guy's like, nah, dude. So I could just do this. There you go. You do it, girl. Because I need to price it still, and that can take 10 minutes. Peppermint. What the heck are you doing? Wait, what? Okay, never mind. So this uh, black tea looks the same as the other game we played, Supermarket Simulator. They look the same, exactly the same. And this is the upgraded tea also that looks exactly the same. That's what I'm talking about, dude. All these products looking the same. Okay, let's uh, fix the price here. Um... We can make this $4. Uh, this one... This can be... 6 will be fine. This one can be... 3.6. And this one... We'll make it three dollar. Oh man. Seven dollar. This will be. Five dollar. Three six three six. And four. I think that's all of it. Okay, back to mouse and keyboards. Okay, whatever, let's start a day. Boom. And the shop is open. Let's get down, let's get down to business. We got one more night, one more night to get this. And there goes all our money, dude. I'm a broke bitch. A broke bitch. 
I used to be a rich bitch. Goodness, my brie. Racket girl, racket. She's packing it so neatly, so beautifully. Thanks, girl. Now show me them nips. <laughs> okay. So we bought every product here again. Just so that we have, you know, for sure, enough stock of that. Because there's no worse feeling than needing to buy something. Especially the new products. Needing to buy something, you don't have the money for it. I mean, we can actually go put that green soda down. I don't think she will for a little bit. Because... Oh, thank you, sir. It literally just took one. Now that we're making bank, yo. Goodness. She's dressed to get boyfriend. She's dressed to get penis. Um... Sorry for that. <laughs> you need some milk. My bad. 14 yogurt. We have 9 still in storage. Everything is looking Gucci, bro. I mean, if the series does well and we get it decently far, you know, that there's a difficulty level, so we can <clears throat> start a new shop with like, like higher difficulties and stuff. I don't know. Sop. Ooh, he's stealing. Whoa, is that... You need a broom for this. I didn't know you can actually... People are dirty. Employee got a tight ass. Kind of feels like we have two different shelves. I don't know why the one is labeled and the other one isn't. We're halfway to the next level again. Where we get levels really fast in this game, right? Could be again something to do with the difficulty. I don't know. I am not too sure how it works. More cat food. Is 
Do you think you can still improve your employees with skill points? You can make them walk faster. Look how fast they're walking. You can uh, make them scan faster. Look how fast she's scanning. Like some of these things, it's a little bit... Uh, maybe it's useless now, but it might be a lot better later. Might not be better, it might be required later. But for now, down this line, until this one, which will give us 10% higher, uh, higher income through checkouts if it's an employee. So more money equals more products equals more experience equals faster progression. There's so many move fasters. Eventually, employees gonna just run, dude. I don't know if you have to clean your place. It's happening again, dude. This time they're gonna kiss. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Number two. Somet sometimes you just have to play a little bit of a whack a mole. Look how big you can make your shop still as well. It's like absolutely ridiculous. I mean, do you know how many products you can just store in like this store right here? And you can you can buy one, two, three, four store upgrades in storage. I don't know if we need this, but it looks like it's pretty low. So we'll get it. Not lower than that cool drink though. Dude, how does a game that is free have better functions than the paid games? I don't know how long it's gonna take for Supermarket Simulator or Card Shop Simulator to have this function where you can see how many products is in the store or on the shelf, how many products is in storage, and how many products is boxed. Like, just these three things alone already makes this game better, uh, like, better to function. I wouldn't say better, but, like, better to function, right? I can see all my info I need from this screen. Like, right here. No other game can provide that to me. Why is our dog food just flying off the shelves, dude? Is is it high enough? It's fifteen dollars.
halyards high enough. We have another one. We just reached level 8. So we're going to take this. Obviously after the day ends. But we also need to buy a shelf. So... Because like we need to store a lot more products now. So we're getting apple juice, flour, sliced bread, pepper, olive oil, ketchup, and margarine. You know, it sounds pretty stupid. Your employees, like, move 20% faster. It might be really good for security. Right? Maybe your security can't catch them. And you kind of need this. I don't know. Every hiring employee actually could be so useful. Okay, we maybe want to wait with this and just restock, make sure we have everything we need. Because I honestly think the best thing to do is to have all products in the green and this way we just know you just know that you're fine six hundred dollars worth of products Wait, there's more. Stop being stuck in the walls, my buddy. Okay, I think that's all of them. So we can actually end the day here. If I can click. All right. 1,000 experience, dude. Money lost because of robbers. Zero. It's because they trip over this broom and they're like, oh, snap. This guy has a broom. $500 is not good enough.
Yeah, we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait one more day. I honestly think restocking takes a little higher priority. There we go. Zero. Can I buy the shell for zero dollars? Who do I pay? Eh? We're gonna hit two today, I think. Butter, skinned yogurt. Band-Aids, laxative. Employees will recycle boxes. So it's actually a talent. Okay. Look how deep it is in. And then the other side of the tree, recycling boxes reward four times as much. So maybe it's a beeline straight for recycle. After we get those. So that's 10% more money from checkouts, which is uh, already insane. She, I mean, look at that, $11, $19. Like a flat 10% increase in anyone's wage is kind of insane. And then if we beeline flat all the way then to this, every box that we throw out, we'll get a dollar and a half. Sounds like it's not a lot, but you know. All this money will add up. And if we need more employees, like, we can always get more employees on the way, you know? So it's up there, and then down there. We can also always attract more customers daily also, air conditioning. But we'll see how things go. Let's see. Items are still looking okay. We have 22 vanilla in storage. Yeah. 
Yeah, we need to not restock right now. Because we need to buy the other one. So I think we need, might need another shelf. And another one. It's kind of shelf explanatory. <laughs> yes. Nailed it. Who put that can there, dude? And the banana slip. I wonder if you can do a banana slip in this game. It's the other game we played, uh, Gym... Gym Manager. <laughs> they do put down landmines for your other gym members to fall uh, over from. It's only 2.30 now. Still... Hi, girl. Still have a lot of time. another level up dude so we gain levels like in soon she in she <laughs> employees move faster place products more another employer to hire I don't know employee to hire if we do that what will it be a security guard maybe doesn't fit then spit on it <laughs> yes I'm sorry dude maybe I shouldn't put down a shelf yet unless we're very certain flour ketchup sliced bread pepper yeah kind of uh, kind of sure it's gonna be a shelf it has to be bro So yeah, let's do it. It's just unfortunate it doesn't fit. It's okay, we'll get a fridge there later, right? Oh my goodness. How cheap is it? 250? How's our products looking, dude? Okay. At least in the soft drinks. Oh, snap. Quickly. Quickly, girl. What are we doing? Nailed it. There we go. We have two now. I don't think we can actually get both, though. 
It really depends how much money we'll have left after we get the first one upgraded. We'll need dog food again. We also have one bridge spot. For some reason, I'm sitting very uncomfortable right now. I don't know why. Let's see if we can place that one peppermint to throw away the box. take the box from them. Oh, I can do something here. No, I can't. Okay, we have a thousand dollars again. Isn't mint peppermint? I, I honestly don't know the difference between the two. For me, mint is just a short name for peppermint. But I guess I'm wrong about that. Clearly, it's two different things. We can maybe uh, get rid of the cat food box. Okay, well, she's doing it now, unfortunately. I was going to throw that away. So this is kind of dumb that you go, your, your employees have collusions with them. And this could lead to them, my, my, my employees falling behind with their work. For me, collusion shouldn't be a thing in a game like this, I would say. Right? Because it could it could it could cause glitches for no reason. Okay. 
Okay, it's... It's half past ten, again. We can, let's probably end our day here. Who stole my broom, bro? Okay, let's end the day. No one is stealing. Employee wages 120. Other costs? Other costs? What is that? We paid $550 for other costs. Dude, rent is $15 a day? Bro. I will rent this place if that was the case. In real life. One of the cheapest places in the world, bro. That's for sure. Okay, let's uh let's build this. Um it's this one. So one fridge. We do have one fridge spot. There goes six hundred dollars. So I don't think we can do the other product, unfortunately. Got this. Dum, 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 dum. Arranged, arranged juice. Arrange that juice. Time to play catch up. <laughs> what the heck? So that is that box. What? Okay, so we we can't do anything here. We just don't have the money. So we can start the day. It's gonna be a lot of running up and down for this all to happen right now. Not really, it seems. Whoa, dude. Olive oil is so expensive. $320. <gasps> and We shouldn't have opened the day because... Why are you key? Uh, let's see here. We'll start off with this one. Go to $2. Okay. Oh. Um. So... Price. Our price. Okay, that oh, dude, the sensitivity on this controller is insane. She. Uh, that's good. We can sell this for sixteen, uh, fifteen eighty-two, five dollars. Okay, that's the old products, and then we have another one here. Why does the sensitivities feel so weird on this game? 
on a controller. Dude, we're running really low on cool drink. Uh, one of the cool drinks. No, not anymore, I guess. Maybe we had it boxed and... I don't know, someone just bought a lot of cool drinks, I guess. That means I'll do the same. Just in case. Invasion. We need to look if there's like cool mods for this game. This trash again on the floor. I don't see no trash anywhere else. just flying through products in this game it's almost like every day we we're getting something a level it's kind of insane i can see soon this uh one cashier is not going to be enough For now, we're doing good, so... winning sun maybe we should just take it right now ah dude we need to get to that 10% money increase like I'm considering making the cashier faster this one right here but that's not needed at least not yet. Too, bro wow we can actually reach it within this video 
potentially. I didn't buy. love to buy their olive oil very very profitable So we need, what, three more levels, I think. And then we're able to get it. There's a reason that most of the products look the same on both games. I'm telling you now, there's someone selling a pack on Unity, and that's all the products, like right there. And obviously you need to have like... a way to buy them, design a UI, all these things. Stupid broom, can't you just stand? Uh, be my support in life for once. Okay. We have dog food in storage. Don't really see anything else to buy right now. That's like needed. So save up for the next the next one. Orange juice. I they already just have orange juice. What was that then? Apple juice. My bad. Uh, barbecue sauce, mustard sauce, spaghetti box, tuna plate, fiber, cereals, uh, supreme flour. I think out of all of that, it seems that it's only one that's in, in the fridge, which is the tuna plate. The rest should be on a shelf. Oh, 
open. Now, my brother, we're very good, very good. I need my 10% increase, baby. Oh, snap. Get your broom ready. Apparently, we're not fast enough. On the checkout. So what do we do? Holy. Bro, that is like 20% faster I don't really want to buy that level up but I think it's kind of needed bro like we were it's you, you, how do I say this? They become more likely to steal from you if your queue is long. Or if your prices is too high, all those things. it's time I want to say it is but we still have like four people in the shop we were sitting on two and a half K what the heck man this from the outside in okay now we can end the day what are the stick my brie goodness Okay, so that's done. Let's get ready for the next products. Basic products three. Dude, everything is on the shelf. Everything. Want to buy a snap function, bro. Like, I'm not even kidding.
Red Flower of Doom. And this game is called Extreme Flower. Supreme Flower. One of each will be doing the trick. Gonna put the box down. Get out of me hands, bro. Orange juice. Let's get more. More cereal. Are you cereal, my brie? More cereal. Ugh. Uh, let's see here. We'll buy every product once more. We have enough money. Is there anything we need? Need. Uh, tuna. Still looking good. Um, nine Mabri. Nothing else is remotely close. Maybe this one also. That looks like all the products. You're not gonna sit for a while, girl. But I'm sure your boyfriend or father or whatever, they would be happy. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm so tired, dude. I actually might go sleep during making the video. Yeah. But did I buy double tuna? Idiot. What else did we double, huh? Tell me. You can predict the future. Tell me. Boxes inside, finally. Dude, we are speed running this. We actually have quite a bit of money. So we'll get this one. I actually think I did do this before I went to bed, but it's whatever. We'll do it again. 
product shelf. Uh, place. And another one. Every second one I can go and do myself, I guess. so that we can throw the box away instead of uh, our worker. I honestly can't remember if I did that already. I mean, I assume I would save the game. I did a little bit of research on the DLC, by the way. It's just a bunch of costumes, if anything. <laughs> okay, let us get $3 on this one. Oh my goodness. Three dollars on this one as well. Mayonnaise can be five. <laughs> My bed. This can be six. Make it four also. This can become eight. Okay, so I think I reset all the prices. Okay, let's get back to the controller. Okay. Uh, we can open shop. But obviously... Okay, don't buy that one. We'll have to buy one more of each. So that our worker can do something. like we need cool drink also soda that already get 
this should be our only restock that we should do for the day, but no evidence, obviously. Stuff comes and goes as they please. Should do this. Hey, lady, listen, listen. I don't want to throw you with pepper, but I will. Okay, not afraid to use it as a weapon. Just making bank, yo. We're almost leveling up again. Easy as this game to become rich in, dude. That's how it feels like right now. I'm gonna become stinking rich in like no time. Honestly, it feels like it's the best tree we can possibly get into. Wait, we get two employees at the end here? Technically three. Technically three, dude. Okay, she's reshelving that, the fiber cereal.
It's just a free box to throw away. And another one. I think we should have leveled up. Yeah, we did. Black coffee, egg box, sugar. This is all shelf stuff. Listen, who is messing in my place, dude? I'm gonna take this broom and I'll sweep my yard. I feel like just upgrading right here. Let's do it. Yeah, 420, that's a good number. Can't find white flower. Well, I literally just bought the license. You need some milk. White flowers laying outside where you belong. <laughs> Three dollars. Hummus. We'll need another shelf, unfortunately. This is three dollars. This is three dollars also. What is happening here? Dude, why can I place in the air? Like, what the fuck are people gonna do there? That was annoying. Oh 
Are you enjoying the far distance, huh? What's this game made during COVID? The queue is instantly almost getting smaller. Do I just not care? Dallas. Why is it red? So that was a little annoying to deal with. I wonder how many people decided to steal because of that incident. We'll see. I mean, dude, in my opinion, if you can't, if colliding is not the, the strong suit of your experiment, then remove all collide. Don't, I mean, that what just happened there was just blatantly stupid, in my opinion. It should have never happened. My employees walking into each other. And he could say something like, oh bro, it's a learning curve. No, 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 no. That, that, that is just stupid. That would never happen in real life, ever. Okay, we're gonna have a bad customer satisfaction today. Because of products, maybe also because of the line. Told you we're gonna get robbed. It makes sense. Now I'm pretty sure we're gonna level up now. No. But we're instantly just gonna go to the green. Open up shop immediately. One thing I can say that feels better about this game, well, there's there's a few things. 
Uh, number one is a skill tree. I, I think honestly, it's a pretty good, pretty cool mechanic. Um, but in all honesty, I think this game, the employees is already stronger <laughs> than Supermarket Simulator. Um, making them even better. I feel like it's a little overpowered, but nonetheless, you know, you got to take every victory you get. Uh, the second thing is, I honestly think it's a weird but a cool way uh, that you can get employees. I can set who I want on this right here. And how many employees I can get is determined on the pathing of your, your skill tree. So you can choose whatever you want first, and that's actually pretty cool. And uh, I honestly think you should just beeline straight to stuff that you think is good. So for me, I think 10% higher income would be good. And I also think if my employee can recycle the boxes, it would be really good. Now, these, like, it's, it's very small increases. However, it's going to add up to everything in the game, right? Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna just help. What I don't like so far is how you change the prices. Uh, that is one thing I think is pretty stupid. Um, the colliding of customers and employees, because I can walk through them. But for some reason they can't. And in... Every uh, every simulator I played recently, like some sort of market simulator, no one collides with anyone. And I, I think honestly, it's there's multiple reasons for it. It's a simple yes or no, collide, yes or no. Switch it off. That is just my opinion. Um, the reason behind it is because it can, it can cause more glitches than anything else. People can start eventually to fall through floors if they glitched long enough. Um, which could like cause a glitch on someone's game completely. That's unrecoverable. There's so many reasons in a game like this that you know you don't require a collusion. That, in my opinion, it should just be off. Like from the get-go. It doesn't add to the gameplay, it it can only remove. Um, we don't need anything else. The leveling system is actually better in this game than any of the other two games we played. Supermarket Simulator and Card Simulator, I think this is better. It's a better way of doing things. A level actually has weight in this game, and you can choose what you want, right? Where in other games, it, it gets chosen for you. At this level, you can unlock that, and at this level, you can unlock that. But with this game, I could literally choose between uh, pizza, uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste and stuff, um, or a cookie jar. Or even employee move faster, or butter. Like, I can I can have any of these here with a simple click of a button. The game doesn't force you to sell this card or that set of group. It it actually is a little bit better in that aspect. But to be honest, I think this game has potential. I just there's there's just too much. If you compare the two games, this is too much not to like. The counter itself is a, also a big issue. Um, the client stands here, put on items and move over here. Now this is a little bit more realism, like real life, because we all do it. We stand in front of this machine. But what, what is annoying is after you scan the items, the guy that's standing here doesn't even look at you, but he stick out his hand or just put on stuff on the counter. I, I don't know. It feels imperson, impersonated. I don't know how to say it. it. It's it's just weird, blatantly weird. Um. First of all, I would let this guy not walk past. I would let him just stand here. 
even move this thing over to here. But at least after you scan, you don't have to move much, right? The money will then be on the floor. Like it's the next item to scan. Um... Yeah, I, I think I pretty much said my say already regarding this game. The products is really, really nice. I can see how much is on store, how much is on shelf, uh, and also how much is just boxed out, most probably laying outside. Uh, it's a pretty neat feature that I think, you know, other games should be able to pick up because it's not that hard to do. It's just a visual. Um which could only increase your uh, productivity. So like, I don't know why it's there. It's like they remove it deliberately, so you'll have to play the game decently on a decent level with mods. Um, you know, you gotta leave some room for these, uh, these mods. That's the way I see it. And also, how you change prices in this game is just so bad. A scroll button. Like, are you kidding me? And you can't even scroll, you have to have a stupid gun in your hand. Like, ugh. You know, I've, I've done a lot of gaming on PC and I, my... my a uh, scroll button doesn't work for years now, bro. Like, I'm, I'm talking about, like, three or four years now. And I've never used my scroll button ever. Like, most games don't need it. So, whenever I'm online, I just use, like, the bar on the right side, you know? And in some games, you could just, like, use your mouse to drag and drop or your middle mouse to drag and drop. But in this game, you set a price with it. In uh, in Supermarket Simulator and in uh, T TGC Card Shop Simulator, it's to rotate your shelves. And that's just tedious, dude. Honestly, I think it's too much. You use that, you use that scroll button too much, dude. I don't know why they utilize that button. If there's 50 keys on your keyboard, and there's also a place that you can use uh, to type in the exact number. Why scroll? Why? Also, the cool thing about this game is there's music, dude. Supermarket Simulator do not have any music. Well, they do. If you buy a speaker and then you get copyright. Like, are you kidding me, my buddy? Copyright on elevator music? Like, why don't you just go all the way, bro? Let's lo listen to some Lincoln Park and stuff, you know? At least if I'm gonna get copyright, make it worth my time as well. <laughs> Don't play some saggy old freaking doom, 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 doom. And then all of a sudden, all my money is gone because that freaking two second song was in it. That is honestly one way to kill your game before it's released. Make, make games with copyright. These two are having fun. Are you winning, Zen? Another product point available. So it's toothbrush, toilet paper, egg. Egg shampoo? Like, what the fuck is that?
I think the better thing to do is to obviously grab this, but then the 10% afterwards and then get all the way up here for air conditioning to even improve the amount of customers you get then. Because the more customers you get, obviously, the more you sell. The more you sell, the more you experience. The more you experience, the more... You understand what I'm saying, then. It's just a never-ending cycle of good stuff. Didn't I buy stuff? No. Do we have stuff on our cart? Do we do not? It's also one thing I feel like this game does better than TCG Card Simulator. Is the cart is just functionable on your screen. This UI right here beats any game that I've played so far. It, it, it honest, honestly does. I think they did a phenomenal job on this screen alone. That you could actually play the game without mods. It's, it's pretty nice. And I don't want to call these other de developers better. But they are way more popular games. So you can't, you can't be a good company and then still make shitty UIs, dude. You know, even games like uh, The Last of Us Part 2 and companies on that size, uh, they spend a long time on their AI, uh, not AI, sorry, long time on their UI because that is how important it is. A game's functionality is only as good as its UI. If you can't read information on a game like this, then you can't expect, expect people to play a game without mods. It, it's honestly that simple. Uh, I think we have another level up. Oh, it's the previous one we still had. And like we're making a killing at the moment and we're about to make 10% more. Which is just insane, she son. Okay, she should take the pasta now, because it's lower than 10 at least. Or the margarine. But if this developer ever watches my series for some reason, um, I would just say that, right? Turn off Collide. That's one of the bigger things right now, in my opinion. Make your employees, at the very least, uncollidable. Because, like, what is the point of increasing movement speed if they're just gonna get stuck on people anyway? Um... So that's, that's one thing I would say is like a must do. What else is there that I would recommend? Um, the pricing change, that's for sure. I mean, with, the, with that gun in your hand, that's fine, but make it that you can at least type, dude. Ugh. Because on a controller, I have to tap R1. You have to tap the R1 button until you get the price. Oh, man. Other than that, I think... It's not much, dude. Like, I think this is a good game. Can be beating my employees with a stick, you know? Gives you an excuse to do that. Uh, we gotta take this one. 
So, hygiene one. Oh, everything is on the shelf. One hundred. Colgate. Wait, what? Isn't that copyright, copyright stuff, dude? I mean, I get it's a free... T oh, it's not Colgate. It just looks like it. Bath gel. Is it like, what, bubble bath? thing is in my opinion this game has a skill tree and that alone could make it worth playing not even to mention it's free to play and it's online if you wanted to and please bringing a snap feature dude Toilet paper. Egg shampoo. Okay, lady, you can do that. Let's set the price with the tedious machine. So this will be $8. So I'm using my left hand to hold down E and then I'm tapping R1 on my PS4 controller. That's how I'm setting the price here and I feel like it's so stupid, bro. Like, I don't know how many people complain about this already because I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, should have, at least. So this will be... I want to make it six, but it will be five. And then this will be... Uh, this will be six... 2.3, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this will be... I want to make it 4, but it's too high. So we'll make it 3.6. Uh, this will become... That's way too high. 3.8. Uh, 3 4.6. I want to make it 2, but we'll make it 1.6. And that's all the prices, right? Oh. Yeah, I read it's already 8. It's good. Okay, we'll end the day here. No one stole this time. I'm getting some nice experience. 1300. It's like every day we get more and more experience. And we're going to open up shop immediately. And then the new products will buy one of each again. But... Not really. Not really. I mean, somewhat. Also, I feel like if you're playing on private, like I am right now, if I press escape, the game should pause. Sometimes you just got to go, you know what I'm saying? Um, stuff can happen. But if you're playing online, it makes sense that the game can't pause. But I think more people play the game offline than online, if I can just take a rough guess. 
And why is that? I just honestly think there's not enough people into games like this that has friends to play with. Like me, right? And I'm even a content creator building community. So... But only if you are on private. If you're on public or friends only, then, well, you can't pause then. But yeah, now, th now that I think of this, you take the good and the bad, you pile them together and be like, okay, do's and don'ts, and there you go, Bob's your uncle, you have a game. Obviously my skill tree, if I ever make a game like this, will not look like this, right? It will be completely different. You'll have two different skill trees, one with products, um, one with uh, leveling up your, your size, one with your storage. Um, it will be like four different skill trees. Um, I don't know how to explain it. And there's always a way to revert back. But obviously, you can unlock everything at level 99. So you'll be able to get everything. It's just you have to choose, right? What is better, what's not. Okay. We shouldn't create bottleneck places like this, I guess. Because my employee can get stuck in between them also. Honestly, just turn off collusion, dude. If, it, if something doesn't work, just remove it. We're almost leveling up. Okay, we're having everything. It's just majority of them is still on the shelf. Oh, sorry, still on the, uh, the storage. I would also have an app on your phone. The way, the, the best way to explain it is the way that Art Simulator is doing it. I can stand anywhere and open up an app to buy products, to sell, to select events, to touch myself. I think, you know, games like this, using a whiteboard to order stuff, um, it's kind of funny, let's just be honest here. We're about to level up, bro. Ooh, this is not good. Thievery might happen. Should still be okay. Now that we keep getting more people into the shop, this is becoming crazy.
Wait, we just leveled up. For fuck's sakes, bro. Okay, that's just 10% more money now, I think. Yeah, look at that. We're making 10% more money. So we're making just a killing now. We just got a 10% raise out of nowhere by selecting a talent. So much money, dude. Oh my goodness. Someone bought the last toilet paper and I can't see where it is. Bro, it's like I'm making already too much money. I don't know what to do with it. We can buy another rack then. Right? If my scroll button can work, we can actually get there. So now I should just order stuff. Anything that has green at zero, we buy. Okay, we stopped at by basic diary. Thousand seven hundred dollars. Items are still falling from the reef, dude.
Are we winning? As long as I'm actually hearing them work, I'm fine. Hearing that machine go peep, peep, peep. That rack is untouchable, that's what it feels like. Probably know it's not gonna be. There you go. Was it all? Kinda looks like it. Halfway to the next level. Seventy-six dollars. Fifty-two, but we're getting fifty-six because of the ten percent. So we can do double counter on this. That's stupid. So if there's a queue, I could just come here and left click. And they insta pay. That's, that's actually pretty cool. So I don't have to like take over the counter like Crouch Up Simulator. I could just help them scan. That is, that is pretty cool. Dude, is my employee stuck again? No. Maybe she was. Our final client. There we go. $43. That's what I'm talking about. And we didn't level up, unfortunately. But I think this thing is more important. The only problem is, though, the queues sometimes get pretty big. But like I said, you could just help your employees scan faster. And uh, over there, we anyway get a, a faster scan. But I think, honestly, this 10% thing is a little busted. It's way overpowered. And I, like, in all honesty, I think it should be the one of the first things you get. But the double employee, I think, is the most important. Uh, because restocking becomes a problem after a while, especially if you renovate your store. Um, and also, the cashier in this game, I think, owning a cashier will just get that te tedious job op uh, over. There's only one game I like being the cashier on, and that is um, TCG. A card shop simulator and the reason being is because i can hold down left click and uh, just make with my camera like this like it automatically clicks and then the cash or the the card of the client 
is literally just a bit higher. Um, and then, yeah, that is pretty much it, right? That is... It's, it's not fun to deal with being a cashier. I think it's one of the first things you should uh, should get automated. But guys, that's where this video is going to end. Um, honestly, I really do hope that uh, the series does well. Because I think we could actually make a pretty insane store. But the collusion is kind of annoying. I hope the developer does remove it. Uh, I don't know if anyone is happy about the collusions of your NPCs or even your clients because to get more clients into your store you need to get rid of previous people otherwise they won't spawn but yeah let me know in the comments section what you guys think if it does well uh well meaning get enough likes watch time click the right and people actually watching we will then continue on with this but yeah thank you so much for taking time and today's support on the channel if you did enjoy leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next one peace